There aren't many parts of the economy that have had it rougher over the last 16 months as the tourism industry. The U.S. Travel Association says that travel spending dropped 42 percent last year from the year before. That's a decline of almost half a trillion dollars. The industry has accounted for almost 40 percent of the total jobs lost because of the pandemic. Now, with restrictions lifted, the hope is that this summer is going to be the start of a tourism boom across the country. And that includes here in western New York, of course, where visitors come from all over to see sites like Niagara Falls. And joining us live right now is John Kenny, president of Whirlpool Jet Boat Tours, to talk about what is ahead this summer. For people who haven't done it, it is such a fun experience. John, thanks for coming on. Oh, absolutely. My pleasure to be here. And we it, know was, it was actually, I, I set this up outside, but it was too bright and sunny <laughs> and my I was all washed out. So uh, I had to come inside, but it's a beautiful Western New York day and a great time to, to get out and see the amazing things that we have here on the Niagara River. Yeah, it's always a good thing if it's too sunny outside, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, you guys are a pretty iconic part of tourism in the Niagara area. You're celebrating your 30th season this year. So you have seen a lot over all of those years. How hard did last year hit your business? You know, when I think of all the challenges that we've overcome over the years, and certainly I never thought anything would be more challenging than 9-11 and the impact that that had on tourism. And goodness knows this has been uh, that many, many times over. Um, you know, as as we, we say in the industry here in, in Niagara Falls, you know, as long as there's water falling over that cliff, we, we, we've, we've got a chance. But uh, this one has been uh, real challenging. There is, though, contrast that a lot of optimism with all the restrictions lifted, cases down, people are continuing to get vaccinated. So what are you expecting for the tourism season that's really now well underway? It is well underway. Unfortunately, um, the border being closed is a colossal challenge. And because Whirlpool Jet Boats has operations on both sides of the river, people often say, oh, John, everyone will just go to your U.S. operation in Lewiston. Well, that isn't really actually the way it works because when pe people from Pittsburgh, Cleveland, you know, Rochester, Syracuse, Detroit, when they come to Niagara, they want to be able to go onto both sides of the river. And when the borders closed, oftentimes they say, well, I hear Myrtle Beach is nice. And they they choose not to come to the to the region entirely. So, you know, that's something that we're going to be uh, fighting over the course of this summer. Yeah, John, we hear from a lot of businesses that even though everything is pretty much over, they still need some help from the government to get things going again. What's your feeling on that? And what would you say to lawmakers about how they can help the tourism industry? Well, the the biggest challenge is that people have short term memories. And what I think will happen is as this summer evolves, people will think that uh, the hospitality industry is back up and running and uh, th things are, are normalizing. Unfortunately, um, a third of the business to uh, to Niagara is from overseas and that market isn't here and it also won't be here next summer because the lead time that it takes for international travel and tour operators from France, Italy, Spain, Germany, Korea, all the people that we market to all the time, it's always about an 18 to 24 month lead time from the time that tour operators announce itineraries to Niagara to the time that people are actually stepping foot uh, here in uh, in Western New York. So that's the lead time that we're going to be fighting through over the next couple of years. Yeah, to get fully back to normal. Great to get your perspective. John Kenny, president of Whirlpool Jet Boat Tours, celebrating 30 years. Thanks for coming on tonight and encourage everybody to check out your business. It's a lot of fun. Thanks for having me. And that is going to do it for us. We have to scoot for tonight, but thanks so much for being with us. Of course, you can always get in touch. There's the text two line right there.